Hello, my dear viewers, my well wishers, and my students. Good Friday is over. Easter Saturday is going into oblivion, and tomorrow is Sunday. Now. All of you are enjoying very happy days and I welcome all of you to my channel and easy step to English cover. And my tonight's element is very interesting. I am not dealing with grammar. I am just dealing with some alliterative words, some alliterative words or binomials. However, my first item is Kit Kat, and you know that Kit Kat is the name of a chocolate. And it is a very favorite chocolate to almost all the children. But what is the source of this term Kit Kat? It is alliterative word. Actually, Kit Kat means good luck. Good luck or fortune. Kiss in time, kiss at time. Remember, kiss in time, kiss at time. And its abbreviated form is Kit Kat. That is, Kit Kat refers to emotional romantic love. So, it is the name of a chocolate. Please take this Kit Kat and do my job. I may offer a Kit Kat to a child and I may say please do my work and take this Kit Kat. That is the chocolate. Kiss in time, kiss at time and it is the symbol of good luck or fortune. Remember that. And my second item is Zigzag. Zigzag. That means not straight. Not straight. That is, the road is this way and that way. Zigzag. For example, that is called in babysit that abrupt alternate right and left turns right and left turns that is zigzag way for example i may tell my friend why are you walking in a zigzag way why are you walking in a zigzag way we shall not find out our goal our destination Suppose we are starting our journey to reach our destination and your friend is walking in a zigzag way. You may call him and tell him why are you walking in a zigzag way. We may lose our path and we may not reach our goal. Clear? Is it not interesting? I think all these items are very interesting. However, before proceeding further, I must remind you that you should subscribe my channel to like, to comment and to share so that I may be enthused and encouraged 
to make more videos more interesting videos for you my next item is the Humpty Dumpty we have all heard the name of Humpty Dumpty but what is the actual source of this name Humpty Dumpty a short fat person Humpty Dumpty means a short fat person remember it okay and some say that Humpty Dumpty was a King Richard III King Richard III of England remember King Richard III of England who was supposed to have been humpbacked humpbacked that is having a hump on his back he was a humpbacked king and that is why his name was Humpty Dumpty Richard III and who was defeated at the battle of Boswat according to history he was defeated in the battle of Boswat and in 1845 1845 and you have read the rhyme Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall so Humpty Dumpty is actually a small fat person and some historians say that he was Richard III of England and who was defeated in the battle of Bosworth in 1845 and he had a hump on his back clear my next item is mew mew m e w m e w and it is the call or it is the sound of a cat you know mew mew actually it is meow meow not mew mew it has been coined from the words meow meow clear it is the greek letter u it is the greek letter u that represents the population min the population min that is min minded population a man who cannot speak in a straightforward style and unambiguously you may tell him that why are you mewing mewing or why are you making a sound like a cat mew mew that means you are unable to speak in a straightforward style and unambiguous remember it now my next example is cracker jack cracker jack exceptionally good cracker jack c r a c k e r cracker jack that means exceptionally good for example you are telling a doctor yes you are a cracker jack eye surgeon you are a cracker jack eye surgeon that means exceptionally good eye surgeon remember it now my next example is ding dong it is the sound of a bell it is the sound of a bell it is also the alliterative word onomatopoeic word ding dong it is the sound of a bell but if you tell somebody else why are you making ding dong in your path that means you are taking this way in your study you are taking that way in your study why are you making ding dong in your study be straight 
and stick to your ambition. Don't make ding dong. Clear? Now my next item is hoity doity. Hoity, sorry, hoity doity. Hoity doity. Hoity doity means showing content, showing hatred. Clear? I am giving you an example. Hoity doity. He bears in a hoity doity way as if he is senior to me. That means he behaves roughly with me as if he is senior to me. Hoity doity. Clear? That means he behaves showing contempt or showing roughness or rudeness. Why are you behaving? Why do you behave? Sorry, why do you behave in such a hoity toity manner with me? I am your senior to me. You may tell him like this. And my last item, that is the eighth item, is Peter Patter. Peter Patter drops the rain down. Peter Patter is actually both alliterative and onomatopoeic word. Both alliterative and onomatopoeic word. When raindrops fall on leaves or on tin set, there is a rhythmic sound like Peter Patter. And you may say, Peter Patter drops the rain down. Okay, good night. Stay safe, stay fellow, stay mellow. Stay safe, stay mellow. And I fervently hope that nobody will forget to subscribe my channel, to like, to comment and share. If this video, interesting video comes to your benefit. Thanking all of you. Good night.